Okay, so if you're like me and you hook a DSLR up to your Edge HD, um, you're pretty limited with how you go about doing it. So Celestron sells this T-ring adapter, and it is 91 millimeters long. So if you add your standard 10 millimeter T-ring and uh, your 45 millimeter flange distance, that gives you your 146 millimeters of back focus. But um, it's very limited because, you know, if you want to put an off-axis guider in, you have to buy their proprietary adapter. Or uh, if you want to use a regular 2-inch filter, like I've got some pretty decent 2-inch filters um, that I can't use because there's nowhere to put it in here without uh, drastically changing the back focus. Um, so what I did was I had a small 10 millimeter adapter let me let me see if I can show you this here and I glued it down inside of uh, this t-ring adapter so that I could screw two inch filters in there um, I just used a little uh, JB weld as you can see down there put a little JB weld down there and pushed it down flush with the bottom of the t-ring and uh it holds it in there pretty well. Now, I don't know if you've ever used this stuff, but I hit it with a little bit of a Rust-Oleum flat black uh, grill paint that's made for grills. But it is amazing at uh, knocking down reflections. Um, you can see it's got a nice matte finish there. It's not going to shine or throw off any stray light. Um, now, the only problem with doing this is that you know how the heck do you screw that in there um, because you know if you got big fat hands like me you're not gonna not gonna get very far trying to do that so I I 3d printed this but you could probably find a piece of PVC pipe and kind of gouge it out and uh, made a little tool for screwing these in here so you just put it on here like this hold this up in here and screw it in there easy as pie there now you got a two inch filter inside of your uh, of your T of your uh, T ring adapter for your Edge HD now um, this material would not the, the 3D printed material would not grip the filter. I tried to design it in such a way that it would grab onto it, but it just wouldn't. So I ended up you know, smearing a layer of uh, pure silicone caulk around the inside of that ring, and that uh, that worked really well. It, it grips onto this filter really well now. It's really easy to uh, remove and install. Or, yeah, I said that right. But anyways, um. So that is a, a, an easy way to, to use filters inside of these T-ring adapters. Now this is going to, putting a filter in here is going to change your back focus a little bit. I don't know how much you know about back focus, but uh, if you've got, this is a 2 millimeter thick filter, for example, and you add one third of your glass thickness to your back focus requirement. Um, so I need... So I made a, uh, I cut out a couple little pieces of plastic that are going to sit on here, some shims, to give me a little over a half a millimeter more back focus, so that uh, the corrected wavelengths are converging at the right point on the sensor. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Now the main drawback here, obviously, is going to be getting a filter stuck up inside of there. Um, so you might need to use something like this in extreme circumstances, but just don't don't crank them down and you might want to put a little a thin layer of lubricant on the threads you know if you if you leave these things put together dry for a long time they can get really seized up so that's the only thing you gotta watch out for 
but uh, it is possible to use regular filters inside a, of one of these and you don't want a long extension here because then you'll be cutting off your light cone sight down it from this edge to this edge sight down it and make sure you're not going to be cutting off your light cone dramatically if at all um, you know this this is the uh, the 40 the, the M42 adapter and this is already cutting off my full frame corners so you you got to watch it if this if the filter is going to be way up here in this thing you might think you want to put a long tube on here so it's easy to get to but then you're going to be chopping out a lot of light you want, you don't want to do that um, so yeah just with with a little tool with a rubber end on it like this it's really easy to to install filters into this thing this is an L Pro I really I've got a fully a full spectrum DSLR and uh, an L Pro is really nice to use on it. So pretty easy to just screw it in here and then go out and shoot. All right, clear skies.